Hi guys, and good on you for giving the um, bingo challenge a go. So this video is going to demonstrate each of the 10 different exercises that's in the bingo challenge. I'll just do one or two repetitions of each exercise, basically explaining the things to focus on when you're doing that exercise. So we start with prisoner squats. So you're going to put your hands up behind your head, you want to be pushing open with your elbows, and getting a good stretch through your chest. Feet are hip width apart, and you're just squatting down like you're squatting over a dirty toilet. Alright, so you want to push your bum right back into your heels and keep those elbows open nice and wide. Alright, keep pushing back with those elbows. Then we've got good old press ups. Okay, it doesn't matter if you have to start on your knees with your press ups. Alright, you want your um, hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart and then you're dropping your body straight down and back up again. Alright, just like that. If you can do it on your toes, then by, by all means do, but just make sure you can got really good abdominal activation because you can hurt your back quite easily if you're doing press ups the wrong way. Then we've got scissor crunches. So with a scissor crunch your legs are in the air, hands behind your head, crunching up, legs go apart, go back down, legs come together. Alright, so you're scissoring your legs as you crunch. Fourth exercise is a bunny hop. It's a nice easy one. It's going to be a little bit knee bent position. Jump forward, jump forward. Jump forward. Alright, so you're landing nice and softly on those feet. Hands up in front, keep a nice straight back. Number five exercise is a sky pull down. So you're going to start with your hands up in the air and you're going to clench your fists and pull like you're pulling something really heavy down towards you. Okay, so clench those muscles as well. Pull down. So from the back, it'll look like that. Alright, so you want to open the chest muscles right up and squeeze back in those shoulder blades. Number six exercise is a burpee step out. So you're going to bend your knees, pop your hands on the floor, step back, step back with the other one, one foot forward, the other foot forward, and stand up. You want to keep your knees bent and your bum nice and low. Okay, as you get up and down from it. All right, number seven exercise is a split squat. So it's sort of like a lunge. You want one foot in front of the other, about a leg length apart, and you're going to drop that back knee straight down towards the ground. Now when you're doing this, your front shin, should stay straight up and down. There shouldn't be any of that kind of movement that's terrible for your knees, all right? So just think about dropping that back knee straight down and the front leg should go in the right position. Just remember to do both sides of that exercise. Number eight exercise is pedaling legs. You're lying on the ground, hands behind your head, start with both knees in, and you're just literally pedaling your legs nice and long, pointing through your toe, and you want to draw in your belly button as you do it. So you should be pushing your lower back towards the ground, just keeping it nice and slow. And you've done 10 reps once you've done 10 on each leg. Number nine exercise is the caterpillar. So you're going to start hands on the ground, you walk your hands out. All right, and then you're going to walk your hands back in, keeping your legs straight and stand up. So you walk out until your shoulders are right over your hands. Keep your legs straight, walk your hands back. Stand up. And the last exercise is lying on your back. It's called a lying hip bridge. You're going to have your feet a hip width apart and your heels nice and close to your bum. Squeezing your bum, lift your hips up. Return down to the ground. So nice big squeeze in your butt as you lift up. Keep your arms nice and relaxed. And that's the 10 exercises. If any of you have any questions, please do email me um, or get um, Lillian to contact me is another option too. But have fun, all the best for the challenge, and I look forward to hearing who the winner is for the first month.